Okay, so hopefully you've had time to practice and get really good at your multiplication and division, addition and subtraction rules for positive and negative numbers. Now we're going to take that and we're going to try and evaluate expressions. Now we've done this before, before we talked about positive and negatives. We just worked with positive numbers. So now this will open up uh, what, we are, what we can do. Here we have an expression that says 5x minus 2y plus 3a. Remember, an expression does not have an equal sign. But they're telling us to evaluate this or to, you know, replace variables and, and simplify. If the x is 6, so that means I'm going to be replacing the x's with 6. It says if y is negative 4, so in place of y I'm going to be putting negative 4, and it says a is 3, so in place of a we're going to be plugging in a 3. Now I'm going to recopy the problem, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So this would be 5, but instead of x, we're going to plug in a 6. Minus 2, but instead of y, we're going to plug in a negative 4 plus 3, but then instead of a, we're going to plug in a 3. And then we're going to use our rules, what we know about positive and negative numbers, to simplify. So according to um, our order of operations, we have to do the multiplication before anything else. So we have 5 times 6 would be 30. Those are the same sign, so the answer is positive. Now here, we can look at this two ways. We can either look at it as a minus and then the 2 times the negative 4, or we can look at it as negative 2 times negative 4. I prefer to do it that way. The sign goes with the number. So a negative 2 times a negative 4, 2 times 4 would be 8, and because the signs are the same, that would be a positive 8. And then here we have a positive 3 and a positive 3 times a positive 3, so that would be a 9. The signs are the same, so the answer would be positive. And now we keep simplifying. We are just adding these numbers here. So the same sign, we add and keep the sign the same. So 38 plus 9. Again, the signs are the same, so we would add, which would be 47, and keep the sign the same. Very good. Now for our next one, again we're doing the same thing. We are plugging in a negative 4 in place of the y. We're plugging in a 6 in place of the x. And we're plugging in a 3 in place of the a. So let me go ahead and rewrite that so we can see that. That's going to be 2, but instead of, a, of y, we're going to use negative 4 squared minus, instead of x, we're going to be using a 6, divided by, instead of a, we're using 3, and then plus 10. Now, again, we simplify, so according to order of operations, we need to do our squaring here first. That's our first thing to take care of. So we will have 2 times Negative 4 squared means negative 4 times negative 4, which is 16. And then we have minus 6. I'm going to drop that parenthesis because it doesn't really mean anything. Over. Here we have 3 plus 10. Now, next thing we need to take care of is this multiplication. So 2 times 16 would be 32. The signs are the same, so it will be positive and I'm going to recopy everything else. Minus 6 over 3 plus 10. Now in the numerator, 32 minus 6 would be 26. The, si the bigger number is 32, so the sign will stay positive. Over 3 plus 10. Again, see our rules continue to work. We're going to add and keep the sign the same, positive. Now we're dividing. 26 divided by 13 would be 2, and because the signs are the same, the answer is positive.